Well, hello my friends. Now for Taro, the Rebel Turner. Starting off this one with a huge apology to all of you. I know it's been quite a while since I've been out here. As a matter of fact, I was wondering if I still knew or could find my way to the shop. That's how long it's been. Never mind about turning. Is it like riding a bicycle? Do you never forget? We will see. Well, it's been four weeks, I think, since I was here. My last turning I did was with the Royal Point Sienna uh, that I got in Fort Myers on my way home from the job site. And I left a piece over here that was getting moldy. And that's what's going up on the lathe. Now, Needless to say, I've done a couple of pieces out of this wood, and the second piece I did held absolutely true. No checking. It's been over a month. The thing is dry. On the other hand, the one I did from end grain turning, that I did the repair, well, that thing still kept on checking away so bad that the ring I put on the bottom actually is kind of like, twisted up on it. The wood forced its way to get cockeyed. So, yes, the orientation makes all the difference in the world on what you turn. If anybody looked at those two pieces of wood, they would say there's no way in the world that can even be from the same species, never mind the same piece of log. That's how different it is. So the last one I did a nice round hollow vessel and I was like ah, about the black and it just looks absolutely beautiful now. It looks like marble. It really does. The grain that it's uh, produced, you'll have to take my word for it unless I take a snapshot and show it up at the end of the video. So be sure to stay all the way through. Now the piece that I got here cut at the same time it has had a little bit of checking so little that it's hard to see mold started growing up pretty quickly on it so this is the piece that I want to put up on the lathe and since I already got a nice hollow vessel I got an end grain well now I want to do a natural edge Natural Edge, our Royal Point Sienna. So let's get started. As usual, spur drive inside, inside my chuck. So when I got something that I want to do a live edge, the first thing that I want to do is put it up backwards from the bottom side so I can start rolling it over towards the top. And I'm going to start off with my 5 8 Hurricane Bowl Gouge. Speed. 400 RPM maybe? Let me see what I can get. Okay, that's 450 RPM. The lathe is not bouncing too much. It does have a little bit of vibration, but that will be short-lived. As soon as I start going out here, that will go away. Okay, I was going to do a natural edge out of this but the bark has separated from me uh, it's not stable and uh, therefore the only thing for me to do is actually rotate this around and uh, do it 
a regular bolt. It's been a long time, also, since I've sharpened up this blade. So, let's go at it again. Speed is at 580 RPM. You do have to practice your approaches, for sure. Or else you're gonna do stuff like this.
going to flip this one more time because I got a better tenon here and I still need to work the backside quite a bit so you guys can view it. Normally I would be able to do this from the backside but the camera angle is not going to be very good. So I will shape this bottom and all and see exactly what I want to end up with. I do have a piece of missing wood already here, which is not something I was looking for to, but the uh, spalting on this is going to actually look pretty nice, I think. So this is Royal Point Sienna. Beautiful, beautiful thing.
Beautiful. Thickness is good. I am uh, pretty thin. Actually right here. And at the bottom. A little thicker at the top. So I'm going to take this down a little bit.
yeah. Finish. Feels pretty good. I see these uh, little shine lines going through here, which I'm not happy with. One thing about this wood, it does fault very quickly. It faults in a black gray color range, but very, very beautiful. And the closest thing I see to the grain that I get over here is a uh, banyan. One thing I haven't discussed in a long, long time about when I'm turning, about some things that I might take for granted, the sound. When I hear kind of a hollow sound like that you can hear right now, you can hear that. It means I'm pretty thin on that area. So, the point is, anytime you hear something that looks, sounds a little bit be careful, don't put a lot of force on that because even at this point it could still spill on you. And when it's something that you are not prepared for, that's actually the more dangerous ones because your hand can really get caught inside. You know, especially with sanding and stuff like that, that you're just using a paper towel, you don't have any protection on that. paper towels and OB shine juice for my finish. I should mention that uh, part of the reason why I haven't been here so long, there's actually several, several reasons. Some of you know that uh, I'm looking into retiring from the job pretty shortly. Um, and the job is part of the reason why I'm not here and why I'm so much looking forward to it, to retiring. Because the job does consume a lot of my time and I'm working out of town. My job is not local, it's not a seven to five or it's 
or eight to five or you know six to three it's nothing like that my job is till it gets done um, and uh, it's far away yeah I get home uh, there's no time for me to come over here sometimes I feel drained out and the little bit left time that I have left I'm actually spending it in my next adventure in life uh, which upon my retirement my thinking is I want to do a little traveling with uh, the wife we've never done really any traveling uh, since we've been married haven't gone out of the country I've only gone out of the country once and that was when my dad got really ill um, and before he passed away I wasn't even able to go when he did pass away um, so I want so if I'm not working and I get home and I have a little bit of time uh, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on sailing uh, so we are in the market for a catamaran and the catamaran will be or should be big enough to accommodate me a small workshop where I can still do this on board my thinking is that uh, when I go, go to whatever country I'm in I will uh, turn a piece of the local wood maybe more common to that particular island or country uh, that will be the name of the sequence of that particular turning still working out the details now meanwhile I already have um, a sailing channel there's no sailing on it yet because I don't have a sailboat yet so there's a little a couple of my videos that uh, are up there with my boating in Sarasota so uh, you know I, those of you who are going to want to follow me on this adventure um, I really appreciate it right now the channel is up there it doesn't have any subscribers <laughs> So, <laughs> if you want to follow me there's a link below below uh, for my YouTube channel for sailing it's called I dream of sailing maybe crazy but that's what it is now also with uh, my channel I'll be doing some giveaways it's not like I can hold yard sales and I haven't worked out that detail either uh, I might give my turnings to the locals um, I would love to give it to charitable contributions so um, or uh, to any fans that so desire to have some of my pieces um, don't know why don't you put it in the comments and we'll see which way that goes It's a pretty piece. And uh, to finish it off, nothing new. Put this in here. It's a felt buffing uh, pad. I think I got it at Harbor Freight. And it will always center itself. So I'll go back in here. Life center, of course. Now I will turn this down until I have just a little nub, and that little nub I can get it out with the uh, descending disc on the drill. So I don't worry about that very little end. What I do worry about is the majority of it. Make sure that I get it nice clean cut. Do a little bit of the sanding.
and uh, that should do it. But I can say that nothing, nothing can duplicate the uh, natural happenings with the wood, uh, colorations and all that stuff. I mean, you know, this is just beautiful going through here. Well, thanks for watching and we'll see you hopefully still before I go sail. Uh, that is getting very close most of the time I'm going to say a couple of things most of my time lately on YouTube has been watching sailing um, both to learn and to encourage me that I am doing the right thing because sometimes I I wonder you know I got a big house you know it's uh, and we're taking on a completely different life that we're not aware of but also on the woods turning channels which I have not abandoned you guys in no way shape or form I still am grateful beyond words for your wonderful comments that you put up sometimes I'm a little slow getting back to the comments and part of the reason is that when I'm watching these channels both woods turning and sailing I'm usually watching them on my TV and and therefore it goes through the channel I do watch the newest videos from some of you uh, that do post and sometimes uh, I'm amazed and I want to comment but unless I go to the computer and go in which um, and type it up sometimes I'm watching and grateful and thankful for your videos as well and uh, that's just what it is. I have not abandoned you. Well, there we go. Nice bold, a little round over rim. Um, it just takes it away from the natural edge. I was going to do the natural platter, but one end, when it came off the lathe one time, I think, I think that's when it happened, it chipped off. Uh, too far beyond and then when I got the top and got a tool it was very thin and the other ones were so thick and Therefore I tried working with it, but it didn't look right. So therefore I just took off the wings completely and This is what came up on it Either way would have went, uh, been nice, but this is the one that came up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again and don't forget to like and subscribe those of you that haven't subscribed and want to see more videos from me, also click the bell. The bell, you don't get spam, you don't get anything. It just lets you know when I post a new video. So therefore, if you want that notification, you got to uh, hit that little bell or else you just find me by random or you go searching for me. And there's better ways of doing that. Uh, all your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks again.